this video, we're going to study the autoionization of water. It sounds complex, but it's really nothing more than an equilibrium reaction involving water. Okay, we've learned that sometimes water can behave like an acid and sometimes it can behave like a base. We know that a substance that donates a proton is an acid and a substance that receives or accepts a proton is a base. So let's look at this along with a, with a cartoon drawing. So we have two molecules of water, each consisting of oxygen and two hydrogen. Now in this case, this water molecule is going to be acting as an acid because it's going to be donating one of its protons. So ultimately it will end up with one less proton, leaving it as OH minus. And this water molecule over here that's going to be functioning like a base. Because remember, a base is something that accepts a proton. So instead of H2O, it will be H3O. So really what we have going on is one of these hydrogens is being transferred from this water molecule to that water molecule. Now, based on how I've drawn these, area, these arrows, which way do you think equilibrium lies? Well, yeah, you probably guessed equilibrium lies way to the left. In fact, it's really far to the left. So if we calculate the equilibrium constant for this, we would find that it's much less than 1, telling us it lies to the left. And we'll do that here in a little bit. In fact, it's so far to the left that only about 2 out of every 1 billion water molecules is ionized. So if we have a billion water molecules, only two of them will end up like these. Um, that's demonstrated by the fact that if water is painstakingly purified, it still conducts electricity uh, to a very small extent. Okay, let's set, up a, let's set up an equilibrium expression for this reaction. We know it's concentration of the products divided by concentration of the reactants. And we know that these are the products and these are the reactants. So let's plug them in. Concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants. And notice a couple things here. Um, I've written water twice. We could have just written it once and written a 2 as a coefficient. So that's why um, it looks like this. And secondly, um, because water is, is so unique, the equilibrium expression, it's not KEQ, but KW. But KW and KEQ, they're essentially the same thing. And remember that water is a liquid, so it should be omitted from the equilibrium expression. So we really don't even need it. So let's rewrite it. So this is the equilibrium expression for water. Now as it turns out, for a neutral solution, uh, we know what the concentrations are. The concentration of hydronium ion is 1 times 10 to the 7th, and the concentration of hydroxide ion is the same thing, 1 times 10 to the 7th. Now remember, this is only true for a neutral solution. So if we multiply the two of these together, our equilibrium constant is 10 to the 14th power. Like we mentioned before, this is a really small number. It's way less than 1. So this equilibrium constant tells us again that this reaction lies way to the left. Now, if the solution we're looking at is acidic or basic, these two concentrations here will be different, but the product, or the number that you get when you multiply the two together, that will always be this value right here. That's an important thing to keep in mind. So if we multiply the concentration of acid times the concentration of base, we always get 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So go ahead and copy that in your notes. So let's do a quick review. For a neutral solution, it looks like the concentration of acid and base are the same. Let's remember that as we go into the next slide. So we have three types of solution, neutral, acidic, and basic. What can you say about the concentration of acid 
relative to base for a neutral solution? Well, we just learned that they're equal. What about an acidic solution? How would you describe that? Well, of course, the, in an acidic solution, the concentration of acid is greater than the concentration of base. Conversely, in a basic solution, the concentration of base is greater than the concentration of acid. And lastly, what can we say about the pH? Well, the pH of a neutral solution, you know, is 7. The pH of an acidic solution is less than 7. And of course, the pH of a basic solution is greater than 7.